Hello everybody and welcome to another A plus 1101 lesson with a practice quiz at the end, this time focusing on exam objective 5.6. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this exam objective, all of these printer related issues, and then give you some questions at the end to test your knowledge, see if you're ready for the real thing. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Lines down the printed page. You got a printer, you're having lines come out down your page. What could possibly be causing this issue? If it's an inkjet printer, it's going to be caused by dirty print heads. Your print heads are dirty, they're causing lines to scratch down the page. If it's a laser printer, it's going to be caused by a scratch on the photosensitive drum, right? Because the toner isn't sticking where that scratches. So therefore, you're going to have no, no ink coming down that page, right? You're going to have no toner coming down that page. Garbled print, right? If you've got print that's coming out like gibberish, it's generally going to be caused by a mismatch between the language being used by the printer and the driver. If the printer is using one language, the driver is using a different language, it's not going to work. Make sure they're both using the same language. Very, very important. If you want to to see if this is the issue, double check, you can actually print a test page directly from the printer because that way you're, you're not needing the driver necessarily. You can go straight to the printer, te print a test page. If that prints normally, you know that it's almost certainly to do with the driver on your printer. That's a troubleshooting step you can take. If the toner in a laser printer is not fusing to the printer, if it's easily smudged, that means that something's wrong with the fuser assembly. In a laser printer, as we should know by now, the paper goes through after the toner has been applied and then it's heated to fuse it to the paper. If it's not heated correctly, there's an issue with the fusing assembly, it's going to be easily smudged because it's not going to be fused to the paper as it needs to be. If you have a paper jam, what do we do? <laughs> we unjam it, right? So if you have a paper jam, you should ensure that there's no blockages along the paper path and that the tray and pickup rollers are working as expected. So if the tray and pickup rollers aren't working, well, it's they might be feeding multiple pages in there, they might be feeding them in incorrectly, therefore they might need to be replaced, or there might be something inside the machine causing a blockage, or sometimes pages just get stuck and you just need to clear it once, try again, and it'll work. Uh, your printer will have specific instructions, usually on the screen, telling you how you can specifically clear the, the blockage of paper there, okay? So the pickup rollers should only pick up one piece of paper at a time. If they don't, you, oh, you will have, where is it? Uh, it's later on. Uh, you'll have a different issue called a multi-paper, multi-page misfeed, which we'll go into soon. Faded print. If you do get a faded print, that's likely going to be caused by a low ink or toner. There's just not enough to, to get the full image. So you're going to have a faded version as we see on the screen there. So make sure your ink and, and or toner is completely full and ready to go. If you've got the incorrect paper size print, uh, printing out, if you're printing on the wrong paper size, you've simply selected the wrong size paper. Uh, so you've put the wrong size paper into a tray. So you're saying, hey, print from this tray, but you've actually got the wrong size paper in there. So just make sure the right paper is in the right tray and you've selected the right tray to print from in the print settings. That's pretty much what you need to do for that one. If your paper isn't feeding, it's going to be a problem with the feeder rollers, which makes a lot of sense intuitively because they're responsible for feeding the paper into the printer. So you may need to check that they're working properly and if they're not, they will need to be replaced and you'll probably be looking a little bit like this guy. Multi-page misfeed. This is what I was talking about before. So this occurs when the printer feeds more than one sheet of paper at once. The printer's job is only feed one at a time because you can only print on one at a time. If it feeds more than once through, that means the pickup rollers are picking up multiple pages. So that will need to be adjusted. They may need to be replaced or you may need to, to solve that issue so that they're only doing one page at a time. The pickup rollers will likely need to be replaced if that is in fact the issue that is occurring. Multiple prints pending in the queue. This means the print spooler is likely in a stop state. So the, the prints are all there, but the spooler is just like frozen, it's stopped, there's too much to do. You'll need to manually restart the print spooler in order to get that going again. Uh, you can check Event Viewer for details on which job specifically caused that issue to occur. All right, so Event Viewer is very handy when it comes to issues with specific applications uh, occurring. If you have speckling on printed pages, it may be caused by a dirty, uh, a dirty printer. Uh, you can clean the inside, right? If it's a dirty printer, you might get some speckling in there. Ensure the cartridges are clean as well, and there's no buildup of debris. If you've got some debris in there on the cartridges, maybe it some of the little spots on the printhead, it's not printing properly, and it's just kind of speckling out because there's a blockage there. So you may need to clean the printhead as well. That could be an issue. If you have a, a ghost image on your print in a laser printer, that's going to be because the, the photosensitive drum has not been cleaned properly, right? So the remember how the laser writes on the photosensitive drum? 
And then at the end of the process, that drum is meant to be cleaned by the printer itself. If it's not cleaned properly, that means that the image from the last print is still going to be written into the drum. So the laser is going to write on the drum again and the primary print will be the most recent one, but there will be a faded image of the last print. So you'll need to make sure the photosensitive drum is actually being cleaned properly by the system, uh, making sure that is occurring. Incorrect color settings. If the print is not printing the colors you expect it to print, you should perform a color calibration that will generally solve your issues. If you hear a grinding noise, you might look a little bit like this guy, a little bit fed up of printer issues, like you might be feeling working your way through this exam objective. It indicates there are problems with the hardware of the device if you're hearing a grinding noise. It might need physical repair or ink cartridges might not be installed correctly. So make sure everything is fitted in its socket as it's meant to be. If it is, then you may need to call in a professional to have a look at it because uh, that's a bit above your pay grade. If you have finishing issues such as staple jams or uh, hole punch issues, so in relation to staple jams, most manufacturers do have different processes for removing the stapler. So for that one, it's pretty much as simple as follow manufacturer instructions. For the hole punch, if it's not working correctly, you wanna make sure that the driver is configured properly, right? And again, if it goes beyond that, check out manufacturer instructions. These ones are pretty, these, these ones you don't really need to know too much specifics about. Like you'll, you'll mostly wanna focus on if there's a ghost image coming out, what part of the laser printer is causing that to happen. If there's a line down the page, what's causing that to happen. These ones are a little bit more finicky and you don't need a super in-depth amount of information on these as far as I'm concerned. Incorrect page orientation, very, very simple. You've pretty much entered the wrong option. So you wanted to print landscape, but instead you selected portrait or vice versa, uh, or there's a bug in the print driver. One of those two things is probably happening there. Now time for some questions, but before we get there, time for a word from our sponsor. Hey guys, I'm just here to tell you that the A plus 1101 uh, learning package with the practice exams, the learning guide that people are absolutely loving and the performance-based question simulation is on sale for the next three days and that is on sale uh, for $50. So you're getting uh, $25 off only the next three days. If you want that, go grab it. All right, let's go back to the questions. Okay, guys, let's get straight to the questions. Question one reads, Taryn was excited to look at her daughter's poem that she had just printed out using her inkjet printer but she noticed there was a long vertical line down the middle of the page that was preventing her from reading it properly. What was the most likely cause of this issue? A, a dirty drum, B, dirty print heads, C, faulty fuse assembly, or D, a filament blockage? Pause the video if you need more time. We're getting into the answer in three, two, one. The answer is dirty print heads, right? So we just went over this in the video. If you're not sure why, go back and revise and then come back and try again. You can figure it out. I know you can. But actually, it looks like I'm going to explain. I've decided when I was making these slides that I'll explain it to you. So I did the slides yesterday. I'm talking it through you now. So you're lucky I'm going to explain it to you now. <laughs> so the first one, hey, dirty drum is those ghost images in a laser printer, right? We talked about how if the drum isn't cleaned properly in a laser printer, it's, you're going to have ghost images. This one specifies an inkjet printer. So that cannot be the issue. Faulty fuse assembly results in smudging ink, right? We talked about how if it's not heating properly, it's, it's going to smudge and that's only in a laser printer. So again, if we even just know the components, we'll be able to do process of elimination here. And then a filament blockage is only in a 3D printer, a printer as well. So that's a matter of knowing the components. So even if you didn't know that specifically dirty print has caused the issue, this is the only one that has the component of an inkjet printer, which is specified in the question. So just by process of elimination, you should have been able to get that if nothing else. Next question, let's get straight to it. It reads, after installing the print drivers on your device, you attempt to print a three page document to the office inkjet printer. However, when you look at the printed document, it appears to be garbled. What is the most likely cause of this? A, you installed the wrong driver. B, you connected to a subnet as opposed to the main network. C, the printer needs to be calibrated. D, the corona wire has been damaged. Pause the video if you need more time. We'll get to it in three, two, one, now. A, you installed the wrong driver. If the printer is using one language, but your driver is using another language, you will get garbled print. Make sure your driver is using the same language as your printer. That's how you solve that issue. Next question reads, while trying to print a report, Greg hears a grinding noise coming from inside the printer. Which of the following should he do? A, 
ensure the drivers are properly installed, B. Ensure the ink cartridges are properly installed, C. Ensure the thermal paper has been properly coated, D. Ensure the Ethernet cable has been configured with a CAT6A and not simply a CAT6. Pause the video. If you need more time, we'll go ahead and get into the answer in 3, 2, 1. The answer is B, ensure the ink cartridges are properly installed. Make sure everything is installed properly and there's no loose components in there. That's a good first step if you're hearing grinding noises. Now, next question, we'll get straight to it. It reads, you are working in a rural high school, dreaming of the day that you can quit and begin your cybersecurity career. When you hear multiple people complain that they have sent out print jobs, but the printer is not printing them. The printer is connected to the network through the RJ45 port. What is the most likely cause of this? A. The Wi-Fi antenna has been disconnected. B. The SCADA network was segmented, but no one documented it. C. The print spooler is in a stop state. D. The SCADA spooler has stopped and needs to be manually reset. Pause the video if you need more time. We'll get to your answer in 3, 2, 1. Now it's C. The print spooler is in a stop state. So again, if you've got many print it's waiting in queue and it's it's nothing's happening you might need to manually uh, restart the print spooler to have those jobs start working again now look if you've enjoyed this video if you like the way it was broken down by exam objective and each dot point within each exam objective and you could isolate exactly what you wanted to, what you wanted to learn about you'll love my learning guide which people are saying this about uh, your notes definitely helped me pass my test today the guide is really good it helped make everything a lot clearer your guide is goated. I don't comment a lot, but it helps with organized information and helps me piece things together more easily. Thank you so much. I downloaded your learning guide already. I can see it will help me immensely while studying. I tried some other popular resources, but struggled absorbing the material. So people are loving the learning guide and the five practice exams are great as well. You get five practice exams, performance-based questions for each practice exam. You can break those down by exam objective as well. And further, I also have performance-based question simulations, and this is all for... Uh, currently $25 off for a grand total, all of these three together, 50 Australian dollars, which if you're in the US, which according to my analytics, you probably are if you're watching this video, um, it's like chump change to you guys. So instead of buying uh, $30 practice exams over here, which go beyond the scope of the exam objective and then buying another book over here, which like doesn't even tell you what you're learning about because it's not organized. Trust me, I've been there. I've done that. 50 Australian dollars for this package of three things was exactly what you need to prepare for the exam right i've been through your steps no it experience getting ready for this thing i know what you need because what i've created is what i needed when i was in your shoes i know how intimidating it is to do this with no it experience this is what you need uh, but if you feel like it's not something for you then i will see you in the next video which is also our last video together for elite 1101 until you kind of go over to the my quiz videos which you can as well they'll be there for you too so with that being said i'll see you in the next one guys have a good one.